Super Bantamweight Division. Introducing to you firstly and fighting out of the red corner wearing the black trunks trimmed with white. Weighing in at 9 stone and 11 ounces. Bringing a ring record of 8 fights, 6 wins, 3 inside the scheduled distance and 2 losses. He's from Hereford. Please welcome Dazzo Williams. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the silver trunks, trimmed with black, and weighing in at 8 stone, 12 pounds, 11 ounces. 20 fight record, 14 wins, 4 inside the scheduled distance. 5 losses and 1 draw. He's from Barking. Please welcome Mark P. Cullen. Time for the bell is Mr. Richard Clark, and referee in charge of the action is Mr. Billy Ed, and this is eight three-minute rounds. Come on, cheers. Listen, I want a good clean contest. Shake hands and defend yourself at all times. All right? Cheers. Go on. Good matchup of fringe super bantamweight contenders who have looked great, then flattered to deceive. It's Mark Callahan in the silver trunks against Dazzo Williams, both with the chance to move up the eight stone ten ladder. Plenty of opportunities. Not the strongest division domestically, and uh, a big night for these two men. Both have had strange careers, really, haven't they? Yeah, well, they've both tasted defeat. But we've said often, you know, that's the mark of a fighter, how to come back from defeat. But I like the way they've started this one. I think a little bit of pride involved here. Good, crisp punches right from the off. No scouting measures, right down to business. Callahan looking aggressive early on. But Dazzo Williams has ability. The former... English ABA featherweight champion. It's a must win fight, really, for both of them. And it's good early action. Uppercut partially blocked by Callahan. Well, this is a terrific start as both men go to war. Good left hook to the body from Williams. And there's no feeling each other out here. Not, and nobody thinking about a points verdict either. And there's a cut as a well. There's a cut as well under the right eye of Dazzo Williams. And a great right hand from Callahan. The next play apart from Dazzo Williams. Is he okay? Billy Ed says yes. How badly hurt is he? Yeah, he is shaking. He's holding his chin just a little bit high too. He wants to get that right down between his between his shoulders. I mean, Callahan's been looking for the big punches right from the first second here. Both looking for a stoppage, yeah, but the first bit of success to Callahan. Now Williams comes back at him. It's been a fast and very competitive opening three minutes great undercut fight in progress a bit low from callahan and that's a good uppercut from williams who's come back well i think williams's pride has been hurt i think he's trying to turn us around and score a knockdown of his own but he just wants to be a little bit careful callahan can clinch he's taking another one well the your call have absolutely adored this first round. All the time in the what world, a great yeah. one. All the time in the world, yeah. This way. Benny King working on the Williams eye. There's his record. 28 now, Dazzo Williams. That spells of inactivity. Career started well. A couple of recent defeats set him back. And well, they were both looking for the knockout there, Adam. He's that punch landed high in the forehead. He's looking up as soon as he's touched down. He's looking back up at his opponent, which is a good sign. But that was a beauty. 
he, he seemed to have his wits about him as soon as he got back up again. That's a sign of the good fitness, good condition. Back he came, pride was hurt, and he was trying to maybe score a knockdown of his own, but took some chances in the process. What a battle we have here. Round two of eight in the eight stone ten super bantamweight division. Terrific opener, and uh, they carry on where they left off. It's a really good trade fight, this. There's a lot of pride in there between Mark Callahan and Dazzo Williams. Williams looking for the meaty shots, but the defence of Callahan is better than it was when he, well, inexplicably lost to Stevie Quinn last time. Just lets his gloves go a little there. See, Williams has an excellent jab. He's trying to get that jab working, but he just really wants to tighten up while he's doing this. But I think, as I said in the first round, his pride is hurt and he wants to even things up. Really needs the win, Dazzo Williams. Had a torrid time with the Ugandan base in the Peacock Gym near here, John Mackay, and then he was knocked out by the journeyman Carl Allen uh, in a real shot. So he's looking to come back strongly here, and this would be a good win for him if he can pull it round. Williams is a bit more controlled than Callahan. He's using the jab well now, he's come back well. Still has to be careful. Every punch Callahan throws is a knockout blow. He hasn't got concussive power, Callahan. Only four wins inside the distance. Both of these men have been knocked out before. We thought it would be exciting. Now the action has not let us down so far. So much leather being thrown in there. Yeah, Williams looking a lot tighter now, paying more attention to defence, but still coming forward, still aggressive. Big improvement in Williams' work in this round. Look how much it means to both fighters. Maybe about who can dig that little bit deeper. Who's had more time in the gym, dedication on the roads. It looks like that sort of fight. There's little to split between them. Just hold off for the use of the shoulder there, Callahan. See, Williams is a bit more compact. If this fight goes a few rounds, I think he will have the advantage. But at this point, they're both very dangerous. Switch hitting as well, Dazzo Williams. Looks like he carries just a little bit more in terms of punch power. They touch gloves. Another quality round. Roy Callahan, no relation with Mark. And that's the slate, 114 of 20. He's had a couple of unfortunate defeats, but Roy Rutherford, the featherweight, did stop him from body punches in the third round, which was a worry. Big, big improvement in Williams working in the second round. Much more controlled, not hanging his chin out, but still going forward, still prepared to take the initiative. Big round for Williams in the second round, and I think he felt himself he needed it. His pride was hurt, and he's answered it in fine style. Good variety, good defence, excellent turnaround for Dazzle Williams in the second round. Third round of a mini cracker here at Bethel Green. Good right hand from Dazzle Williams, who hurts Callahan. And the man from Hereford, originally from London, has come back ever so well. Still a bit wild, and still both men have the capacity to hurt the other. A wild brawl, really. It's maybe just a little bit classier than a brawl because these are good shots that they're both throwing. But Williams certainly got the tactics right now. Tight defence, 
Ball was ready to counter, always ready to take the initiative as well. Callahan, who looks such a good prospect when he turned professional, as did Williams. Really, winning his first five in a row, looks something a little bit special. His career just tailed off of late, and he's 28. So he's already getting old for a super bantamweight. Needs to move quickly. Needs to get through this one. Callahan at 25 may be slightly fresher, although he's had more fights. Who is going to last the pace? I mean, the pace has to slow down. I mean, there's no way they could keep this going for eight rounds. And they're having to think what they're doing now. Just conserve that little bit of steam for the later rounds. A marvellous match-up by the matchroom team. Promoters Barry Hearn and Tommy Gilmore absolutely glued to the action. As everybody is around Greg, Bethnal Greg, Green. Just the grimaces the there, on, Williams. Only one straying low. Is that a sign that something's beginning to give? Again, one goes just under the waistband, and Williams comes back. He was angered by that. Some of these body shots from Callahan are straying on the low side. Yes, Williams is blocking most of the shots too. Just his tight defence is just slight, giving him a very slight edge in this round. But this is a scorcher. Oh, good combination again from Williams, who has the slight weight advantage. He's come in just over nine stone, and Callahan eight, twelve, and eleven ounces. So this has the slight edge there. Very interesting encounter. April, are you punching out? Scheduled for eight. Why are you taking the fucking shots then? Why are you taking the shots? Get closer to him and work happy in the Callahan corner. Very little in it. See how many over. 230 punches thrown. Williams landing just seven more. Another excellent round, but Williams' uh, defence a little bit more sound than Callahan, a little bit more schooled. He's thinking what he's doing. Callahan still adventurous, but taking too many chances. His punches are wide, and he's being countered. He really has to tighten his attacks up a little bit. They have them dead level in points, but uh, two rounds to one for Williams. And the signs are Williams beginning to take control. Fourth round in the Super Bantamweight division, British title vacant at the moment. Commonwealth holder is the Sheffield-based Brendan Ingle fighter Isham Pickering, who's slated to fight Brian Carr. There's uh, opportunities for those a little bit down the ladder. Currently ranks about nine, Mark Callahan does a Williams 11. And uh, proving they are quality combatants. Drive, passion, and uh, a great right hand round the back from Williams. Is he just that bit stronger and that bit more accurate? I think he's technically a little bit better, Williams, and he's pushing forward. I think Callahan's feeling the pace. He's been putting so much power into his punches, which have been blocked and missing. He must be feeling the pace. So now he, he's trying to control the pace that Williams, he's still keen to initiate the attacks. Since that fast, furious and torrid opener, which had Dazzo Williams on the floor, he has bounced back well and has just taken control. But there's very little in it still. They're definitely slightly better technique from Williams. He's thinking what he's doing. Callahan just a little bit too ragged, too adventurous, taking chances and he's been punished for it. 
Williams, who's coming off a comeback win over Vladimir Borov, the Bulgarian. And she needed to restore some confidence. Callahan needs the win badly. Long raking right hand of Williams and uh, once or twice Callahan just lets the gloves drop and he can't be doing that. Williams is left hook is working a treat too. Nice short punch as Callahan comes forward. Again another tough round but Williams just seems to have that slight edge. And to work the body, Callahan and again Williams turns from southpaw to orthodox and back again. Callahan wants to think about the face, wants to get those hands up just a little bit tighter. Well, this is really enjoyable. Can you pick a winner now? So evenly matched, I mean, you can match these guys a dozen times end up with the same fight, a cracker. Twenty-five, and it's his twenty-first outing. The man from Barking, Mark Callahan. And so Williams has only had eight fights, so the less experienced, but um, maybe technically the more efficient. Just a little bit more imagination coming from Williams at times. Uh, Callahan putting everything he has into his attacks. He's a little bit reckless, just taking so many chances. Another tough round. But again, Williams just maybe that slight edge. The halfway point. Look how close it is there on Jim's card. Well, if the second half lives up to the first, we are in for a good 12 minutes. Mark Callahan remembering the silver and black trunks from Barking up against Hereford's Darren Dazzo Williams. Darren is real name. Of course, as an amateur under that and uh, confused us when he turned professional as Dazzo. Both men, remember, need this win and they need it big. Left hook, doubling up from Williams, who again looks to get on the front foot and force the pace. He doesn't seem worried about the Callahan punch pad. That's that, right? that left hook working again for Williams. He just steps back as a left hook counter, delivered beautifully. And his jab, his jab could make the big difference in this fight. He has an excellent jab, but it's been the macho stuff. He's not been using it too much so far. Just maybe a little bit too keen to get involved fighting Callahan's fight. Youngster up in Manchester, Steve Foster Jr who's floating between the featherweight and super bantamweight divisions. He may end up fighting for titles at this weight. Will one of these two push themselves forward and force themselves into British contention? I think the winner at some point would deserve a shot. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they're putting everything into this. What would it be like if they were chasing a title? So evenly matched. No title on the line. Remember, just a, an eight-round fight. And look at the two of them working close. I have a feeling the steam is coming out of Callahan's punches now. I think he's really feeling the pace. Not the same power. Left hooks are getting through with more regularity. Williams is corner team were telling us really fired up for this 
trained now by Steve Robinson, the former world champion, the Cinderella man who won that title at just 48 hours notice and uh, reigned supreme for a good couple of years. And uh, all the experience he would have told Dazzo Williams about may just be paying off. Well, they were thinking about closing this place down, Jim, and I think uh, a few fight fans around ringside at the moment yeah, are pretty really pleased that they haven't. I think we're in the middle of the best advert there is for kicking this place open, because these small halls really bring out the best in the fighters. They feel as though the crowd are right on top of them, and it brings the best out, and this is a cracker. That was the toughest round of the fight so far, and I think this is where we're going to find out who's going to start taking over here. I think some of the, the steam had left the Callahan's punches. I don't know if he has how his powers of recovery are, but there was definitely a little dip in the the power in his shots. Whereas Williams still seems slightly fresher. A real tough round. I couldn't split him in that round, but I think that's the round that may well decide this little encounter. What happens next? Which way will this ebb and flow to the conclusion? Remember, Mark Callahan scored the knockdown in the very first round. And since then, very little between them. But Dazzo Williams possibly just starting to pull ahead. At least you think that. I think so. Yeah, I think he's just been nicking the rounds, but they've been so close. If referee here is more impressed by Callahan, I would not argue. I just think a little bit extra technique and accuracy in most of the rounds has been coming from the Williams. There goes the jab working again. All left hands from Williams and Callahan just thrown away to the floor, but he was taking one or two before he tumbled. And he just needs to get a foothold back in this. Williams still looks strong. Yep, still plenty of power and sharpness, especially the left hook in Williams punching. And the right from Dazzo Williams. Can Callahan summon the strength? And uh, getting close and work on the inside. Can he get out of the way of that left hook? I think it's possible Callahan just put too much effort into the first couple of rounds. He's the one just feeling the pace slightly. Right hand hurt him. Williams got through then. And again. And the man from Hereford stands on the brink of turning this around from that knockdown in the first. Can Callahan stay with him? Is he taking too many? Yeah, but he thinks thing that is to fight back. That's what the kid's all about, and you're not going to change him. But uh, I just think he's put too much, as I say, into the first couple of rounds. He, he doesn't have the same steam left that Williams has. The power has definitely left his punching, his arm punches we're seeing from Callahan now. This is going to be a long couple of rounds for him now. Terrific bravery from Callahan to attempt to meet fire with fire when he's coming off second best. Left hands again from Dazzo Williams and will one just detonate on the chin of young Mark Callahan. This is a bad round for Callahan. He's still competitive, so the referee can't step in, but he's taken too many full-blooded shots for my liking. That looked hard. You want to talk to me? Give the man man's talk. Listen, you're fighting the man's too low, son. Give the man's talk. You've got to get any of the fucking silly shots. He's there for the taking. Who wants this? Is Roy Callahan worried in there? Look at the face of this youngster. Well, he hasn't really had a big round since the first I really feel he's put too much as I see into the early rounds and he's feeling it now. Talk to me, Mark. Come on. The accurate stuff. Yeah, tight. 
is coming up from Williams here, and he still seems to have plenty left in the tank. So Steve Robinson certainly got him in the best of condition. It's a little bit more accurate, a little bit more thought in what he's doing. Callahan's still taking too many chances, he's just too adventurous. Unfortunately for everybody watching, we've only got two rounds left. Dazzo Williams and Mark Callahan have produced a very good match. But is the former English amateur champion just that bit better rounded? Has he taken the last three, four rounds? Is he about to inflict a fifth defeat on Callahan? Oh, these are hurtful shots now from Dazzo Williams. Callahan looks very, very tired. Referee Billy Earp having a good look here, Adam having a good look, and he's he's keeping the card. He knows what the points difference is here. If he's scoring it the same as me and he reckons Callahan's taken too many, he may step in here. Again, the left hook, which has been the shot that Dazzo Williams has thrown. But back comes Callahan. But no snap in the punches, Adam. No snap whatsoever in Callahan's punches. Sold out. He's trying so desperately hard. And you have to take your hat off to Mark Callahan for doing that. But uh, he's played into Dazzo Williams' hands. And unless he can find something to turn this around, well, he could be taken out. I'd like to see Callahan out there, Adam. I don't think he has the strength. He certainly has the courage and the desire to turn this around. But I don't think he has the strength. This is another bad round for young Callahan. What is left in the tank? Is the gauge near empty? For Barkings, Mark Callahan really could do with the victory. But is Williams just that bit better polished and has he done the extra work in the gym oh another left hand from Williams and Villiers must take a close look at Mark Callahan. it's been another horrible round for him there's about 40 odd seconds left in the round yeah, definitely like to see that kid out there, Adam. The trouble is, he's so competitive, he keeps coming back. He's not given the referee a chance to stop it. But I would still stop it here. He's taken too many clean shots in the head. Keeps coming back, Callahan, but little power in the shots now. He narrowly got beat by Jamie McKeever a couple of years ago, Mark Callahan, but he's being more comprehensively out for by Dazzo Williams. Lovely story with McKeever. Went on to win the British featherweight title. Terrific turnaround in his career. And has Dazzo Williams turned his around? It looks like it so far. Steve Robinson in the corner. And Di Gardner. Nope, there's no world title at stake here. This is just becoming a little bit too tough for my liking for young Callahan. His head is being rolled around his shoulders with the shots. Don't don't like to see that, but it just has so much courage. He's back in again. Should the corner save him for another day or should they let him go out for the last three minutes? The kid is he's played, but I would like to see him out of there. But we'd have to know the personality of the kid. If they pulled him out, he might never forgive his corner. This is a tough business and he's not complaining about it. I'd love to see him out of there. Yep, uh, you can see Williams just taking control. Final round of a titanic little undercard fight. Thrilling at times, extremely competitive and hard fought. But uh, Jim now has Dazzo Williams in uh, an almost unassailable lead. Callahan will need the knockout. At least that's Jim's feeling. Whether Billy Ed scores it the same way, we don't know. But uh, Williams has come on and on and on. See, he's always been that bit more controlled than Callahan. 
just that little bit technically superior, even in the very close rounds, his accuracy and his good defensive work kept nicking in the close rounds, and the last couple of rounds have not been close in my car. Williams hasn't run out of steam. Remember the knockdown in the first round, that was Callahan's. no question about that. But uh, how many of the other rounds has the man from Barking won? His corner at Trina.